In this series of videos, I will show you how you can synchronize your Simbra calendar into Outlook and Android devices and iOS, like an iPhone or an iPad. So it's uh, four videos, and this first video is more an introduction uh, to how it works and uh, the preconditions that you need to have in place before you start to uh, work on the synchronization. So first of all, why is this uh, needed? Why do you need to synchronize your calendars? First of all, in, in a busy day, um, sometimes you, are, you get an appointment and you want to write it into your uh, calendar on Android, but then you have to remember to put it into the Simbra calendar later, or you have to remember to put it into the Outlook one. Or, or maybe you have somebody else that want to schedule a meeting with you, so they put it into your Simbra calendar and you don't get it in your Outlook calendar. To make all this easier, there are some tools that can synchronize all these devices. So when you make a calendar entry in Simbra, Android or iOS, you can view it in Outlook. When you make a calendar entry in Outlook, you can view it in Simbra, Android or iOS. And if you share a calendar in Simbra, all entries added uh, from Outlook, Android, iOS will also be visible. So for this reason, it's a good idea to set up this synchronization. And requirements, what do you need to uh, follow these videos? First of all, you need to be a customer at Karuni's Simbra mail service. Uh, it might also work with other Simbra solutions. Secondly, you need to uh, have the shared URL for the calendar ready and at hand, because this we are going to use a lot. And the URL will always look like this. It's this URL, but you have to replace your mail at domain.com with your own email address. Apart from that, you copy all this into a little note block and you keep it there for the following videos. Next point is you need a PC or Mac with Outlook 365 or a newer version of Outlook like 2013, Outlook 2016. It should also work on Mac. We might need some other tools, uh, but we might come back to that in a later movie. But I will assume the process will be the same. It's just a different software. This tutorial is for a window PC. The next point is Android phone. Uh, if you want to use the built-in calendar there, there are some apps uh, that we can synchronize all this up to Simbra as well. And the one I think is the best one is called DAVX5. It costs five pounds, but it's a very good investment because as soon as you download it, it's very, very easy to put up the synchronization and you can add further calendar like Google Calendar or any other calendar that you use as well. And it can all be integrated so all the calendars works together. And then last, iOS. For those with iPhone and iPad, the, the, if you use the built-in calendar, no additional apps are needed. Because uh, iPhone and iPad, they have a built-in feature where you actually can do this synchronization with. So to follow these instructions, there are four videos. This one is the first one and is introduction and requirement. The second video, I will show you how to synchronize between Simbra and Outlook. Third video, I will show Android users how they, by using the app called DAVX5, can synchronize their Android calendar up to Simbra and because you're already synchronizing Simbra and Outlook, you will also get it down in your Outlook. And the fourth video, I will talk about iOS, uh, how to use the built-in calendar and how to set up the synchronization. Uh, I do not have an iOS device at the moment, so I will need help with some screenshots and some explanation, but hopefully, hopefully you will get it. So I see you in video number two, where we are going to set up the sync between Simbra and Outlook.